Hey y'all, and welcome to the Mr. Maple Show. Konnichiwa, I'm Matt, and welcome to the Acer Pictum Hoshiodori video. Get excited, this is an incredible batwing maple with weird variegation. It's green, it's yellow, it's white, it's got a little bit of everything going on. Phenomenal Acer Pictum. I love this plant. It has what we call a batwing style leaf. And that means it's got this huge full leaf that Acer Pictums, those Acer Pictum monos can get. Now guys, we're standing in a, a sea of these giant three gallons of Acer Pictum Hoshiodori. Hoshiodori is a showstopper for colors. Acer Pictum, love the plants. It's got some nice yellow splotch variegation across the foliage. This is a cool batwing maple. Pair this with your Usugumos, you're gonna have starkly different colors. Your Usugumos gonna be more of the white. This one's gonna be more of the yellow. I mean, this is a great plant you can put in those dark spots in the garden, brighten it up for sure. The batwing maples are some of my favorite plants. They're heat tolerant, they're drought tolerant. They're easy to grow for many people. Most of our Acer Pictums are grafted to Acer Truncatum. That adds to their heat tolerance. I mean, I remember seeing some of the wild Pictums in Japan and they're just, they just blow your mind. So it truly is a species of maple that is from Japan. We saw some of them in Nico National Park. I mean, the variegated Pictums, they just add so much in the garden. Everyone loves the japonicums because their leaves are bigger. They add more mm -hmm. of a palette to be able to see a bigger foliage, a really unique texture in the garden. The pictums bring that as well, but they can also bring some unique variegations. They're almost a cartoon-like Japanese maple. That large overall leaf really shows out. I think japonicums are a great way to describe these to newbies. Think of like the most crazy variegated form of a native Japanese plant. I love this thing. It really shows out that splotchy variegation. It has swirls of variegation. It has sand dusting variegation. I mean, I have some leaves in here that can rival Esk Sunset for their swirling. It really shows out and just does something different in every single leaf and design. Yeah, this is a cool tree. It makes a good size upright tree. Give it some space so it can really show off long term. But you really get about a foot of growth per year on this tree. But this is an amazing tree to really give some unique colors, textures, and some good size in the garden. Let this one develop in the garden. It's a beautiful tree. Uh, it makes a beautiful specimen as well. This one can handle a good bit of sun, even as a variegated plant, up to zone eight. Now, if you're in that hotter zone eight, you might want to give it some protection, depending on your heat index, especially in zone eight and zone nine. But it's going to be a gorgeous plant in most of your cooler zones. It can handle a good bit of sun. I have this in full sun here in zone 6B, and it's doing excellent. Yeah. Y'all, hope you enjoyed today's cultivar highlight on Hoshia Dori. Cool batwing maple. It's actually from a really old ancient list in Japanese maples in Japan. And you can get this tree and grow it today. It's pretty awesome. Take care. God bless. And have a great day.